Hello one and all, this is Sir Hellkites, and this is a very quick guide on the best place to get earth crystals. The reason why you're probably watching this is to maybe just get a couple of extra handfuls of earth crystals, or the main reason is because you're on your quest to get yourself your rust weapons, or in fact your ancient weapons, and these weapons look amazing and the stats are fantastic. But there's a step up thing to actually maybe get earth crystals. Because you can get from the first stage, you need about 30 regardless to get into the weapon trees to get Koshana Dero's weapon or Testora's weapons as well. Or, if you want to get like the internal schisms or the obelisk for instance, you need an extra 70 earth crystals. So in total, 100 each. Which is absolutely ridiculous. And a lot of people stray away from this thing because they can't be bothered to mine them because in some places, earth crystals just don't turn up. Before we get into the location, let me just recommend the gear what you should use. Let's go over the armor, shall we? The armor I would recommend would be the leather set. You can currently buy this outside the armorer, or you can get it made, but there's no point just getting it made. You can just buy it out with this coin. It's very cheap and it's very good. But the waist as well as the iron belt, you can get that made with dragon out or conchu shell and warm pelts. Let's go over the stats. I did put something in the headpiece for spirit for whim. We have to worry about that. You got five in the whim, two in the chest piece, one in the gauntlets, and three on the leggings. Plus two in gathering, three on the chest piece, one on the gloves, and one on the leggings. It brings it up to seven. Kind of sucky because I've not got to ten yet, but that's why you can start putting jewels into it. I did put a whim helmet and a whim gem into the side the um in the helmets. But of course, you can just get a three slot weapon, and I put a gathering on today as well. I did get very lucky as well and get myself a rook talisman with plus 10 gathering. But if you literally just get up to gathering plus or gathering plus two, that will just do fine. Also, I'd recommend with your palico, it's trying to change into a treasure palico. Basically, meaning the more palicos you put into the first stingers, he will turn into a treasure one. If you look at the bottom screen here, he has Hasty Harvester and Gathering Duty. It means he ignores combat and mainly focuses on gathering. And he, and he gathers quickly. And take a spare one with you, like a spare treasure one as well. Before I forget, the skills I've got with this armor as well. I have Gathering God. Very often raises the number of times you can gather at a gathering point. Spirit Whim. Decrease the likelihood of pickaxes and bug nets and boomerangs and horns breaking. And Speed Gatherer. Increase carving, gathering, and bug catching and mining speed. This is basically where it starts going. Make sure, of course, you've got all your pickaxes needed. The thing you want to be on as well will be on a low rank. You can, talk, you can just talk to Doodle, you can do it in the gathering hall, it's completely up to you. And the question you want to go to is steps. Any steps. This is where you're going to get all the earth crystals because I went on a multiple place. I went to the forest, I went to the volcano, I went everywhere, and I did not get as many earth crystals as I got from here. Let's get started, shall we? I'm basically going to show you a full run of the quick run and a longer run. Let's get doing. Before we start off to take the map, the areas where you will want to be going to will be 8, 4, 9, and 7. And then finally, 6. Before we get on, I'm going to eat a steak just so I can get going on as well. I'll show you the full run and basically like the full mining run I do as well. Just to show what I can do. I basically get between when I do these gathering runs about 5 to about 10 a run. Of course you can get more, that's basically the quick run and sometimes I get quite bad luck when you get like maybe 3 or 4 but that just happens. One of these mining points I've spawned in 3 places, one right up there, one on the ledge here or one around the corner. One right here luckily. The Jagger is going to be a pain in the douche. But try to get your palicos quite close to the area because they're going to basically be focusing on gathering but now that Jagger basically got it, I'm going to kill it. Because that annoyed the hell out of me. I'm not sure they actually got anything out there, but you basically get your palico as close to the thing as possible so they have a chance of actually getting earth crystals as well. So if you might have a terrible run. You have a terrible run and they and they put these guys can actually hopefully get earth crystals for you as well. But the downside is when a monster gets near, just mine it anyway, because these things tend to disappear as well when you mine. So if a monster's around, don't try and kill it because well you can if you want to, but it's a set time limit these things will stop spawning. About two to three things will spawn here. You've got one up here that spawns, and you've got one button up basically down the hill. Look at that, I just got three out of one, which is amazing. Because with these mining points, some of them actually do respawn, which is kind of strange, because in the previous Monster Hunters, nothing, they don't really respawn. 
This one here as well does not respawn. You can see straight away up top, at the top there. You can mine that one. You climb to the top, mine it, but that one would not respawn. And I completely missed. <laughs> oh dear, that's really bad. Let's just keep coming to the top. Thank God I got myself a well done stake in me. But your palicos will not be able to mine this one because it'll just fall straight off. Because it looks like you're trying to jump off the cliff. You see ready spike? That's Ristol. There goes there, there she goes. <laughs> see? It's just a weird computer thing. How many earth crystals I'm getting? This is amazing. What you want to do is now, you want to head up straight to the nest. Because there's none up here as well, but what you want to do is basically a quicker way to get to area 7. Instead of running back to area 4 and then running straight back up. None does spawn in here sadly, but in this nest area. But this is why you just run straight back up here. And some hopefully should be spawned around here. Yep. Oh, see that one right there literally was spawned, and now it disappeared. Are you goddamn joking, game? I, I don't get the whole despawn respawn thing. It's kind of weird. The cliff. One should spawn right there where that white thing is right there, but there's nothing there at the second, sadly. And one should be on the corner right there where that massive groove is in the wall. But sadly, no. Just jump down here. One should be down there. Yep. You get a lot of mining points here. I mean, stupid amount of mining points. Especially this area. And despite getting some more- Oh my god, hello! Conchus. And one will always spawn down here. This one does not respawn as well. Once this one's gone, it will not respawn. Stone. Macalites. Iron ore. Again, I just run to get one more of the way because I'll be too distracted with the conchus. Wait, well, I want to run straight back down to area four because sometimes one does respawn right on the edge here. It's right here one usually spawns, or at the top there. I'm going to run straight around to area four to back to area eight because again, the respawning thing is really confusing. If someone has a better idea of a spawning thing, please let me know. I'll be honestly great. I'm going to run straight back up here. One might be spawned up here. Nope, sadly not. Because one usually spawns where I'm standing right now. Right here. But we'll forget that. Hopefully some palicles have got the earth crystals as well. But this run is absolutely amazing. Honestly, I can't... Oh, I love this mining run to get earth crystals. And one will always spawn here as well. Once this is gone, it will not respawn. That's crystal. Iron ore. I'm getting by mining it. Iron ore. Macalite. You can now stop the run here if you want. That's basically the quick one so you can get some more palicos sending off to their things or you can just do another one because that's when you get the most doing them. So from that run, I got a total of eight, which is not bad. But what you can do now, you can kind of do like a rotation in a way. You can go from area six to seven to four. Eight, set, six, seven, four, six. And you basically do like a massive rotation on the map. You go to six, five, seven, four. Let's finish you off and see what the palicos give me, shall we? This is what they gave me. Sadly, they didn't give me any earthquakes, but you can see the possibility. You know, they do actually do go around that area. And that is basically the earth crystal run I do. Of course, if people have got a better method, please let me know in the comment below. But this is probably the most successful run I've had. I've got two ancient weapons now because of it, and it's done me fine. I've mined about 200 earth crystals from doing this run, and I have had no problem doing it. Of course, it can be a bit brain deady. Just literally watch something in the background. <laughs> just watch like another YouTuber or whatever. That's what I do. I just go on some other things and enjoy that. Anyway, guys, um, if you did find this useful, of course, please like, comment, and f share around if you really need to. And of course, favor and subscribe if you're new to the channel. <laughs> Very unprofessional when I'm talking. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Take care, you guys, and have an awesome day. Bye bye.